I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. It's prison time for Flagler County's controversial former supervisor of elections. Kimberly Weeks was sentenced to serve one month in prison and 18 months probation. Her fate ends a three-year case that sabotaged her political career. A jury found Weeks guilty in April of seven counts of secretly recording government officials without their consent. She had originally faced many more counts, which were ultimately dropped. Weeks is appealing her conviction and has been released on $25,000 bond pending the result of that appeal. She'd only have to serve the sentence if her appeal fails. Her felony conviction means she must also surrender her weapons and her state pension. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Charges are pending against a Daytona North resident arrested for making counterfeit cash. John Arging reports. According to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, the suspect dropped an envelope of counterfeit bills as they arrested him. Deputies responded last Thursday on a warrant issued by Volusia County for 35-year-old Christopher Heath, Sheriff Rick Staley. They tried to flee, but our deputies caught him, and in the process, he dropped an envelope full of counterfeit money. That allowed us to get a search warrant to his residence, and we discovered printing materials and shredders and paper, all indicating that he had been counterfeiting U.S. currency. But we also notified the Secret Service and are continuing our investigation. Heath had been arrested on a counterfeit money charge just five days before after deputies had stopped him for speeding and found $600 in counterfeit bills. Heath was being held at the Flagler County Inmate Detention Facility on the Volusia County warrant, and bond is set at $2,500. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. All classrooms were cleaned and reopened as usual today after a fire in a bathroom at Rimfire Elementary forced the evacuation of the school Friday. Investigators believe the incident happened around lunchtime after a first grader apparently lit a paper towel dispenser on fire. Sheriff's deputies say the child was trying to change the color of his mood ring. The smoke triggered the sprinkler system, which flooded parts of the north end of the school. No one was hurt. The child was issued a civil citation for criminal mischief and strongly urged to take part in the fire starter program. A Flagler County Sheriff's deputy is named Law Enforcement Officer of the Year. Rich Petschke has the story. Detective Annie Conrad was nominated for her investigation last year into a missing persons case that resulted in the missing man's wife being arrested for murder. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley nominated Conrad for the award, which was presented at the Crime Stoppers of Northeast Florida 20th Annual Banquet. It's a great honor for Detective Conrad. She's a hardworking major case detective and does a great job to the sheriff's office and the community and has solved many very difficult cases. So we all congratulate her and are very proud. Conrad joined the sheriff's department in 2004. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Petschke. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.